What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to work with curves in DaVinci Resolve 16. Let's take a look. When Blackmagic Design released DaVinci Resolve 16 into public beta, I was really, really impressed by a lot of the upgrades that they made to the software. And one of my favorite upgrades, one of my favorite new features is the fact that you can now overlay your histogram on top of your curves in the color page. Doing this actually allows you to be a lot more accurate with your color grades. And it's really, really easy to activate this new feature. I've got some footage queued up in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to use histograms with curves. Okay, so we're here in the color page in DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm in my curves window and in order to turn on the histogram, I'm gonna come over here to these three little dots. I'm gonna come down here to histograms and you'll see three options here, off, input, and output. And we're gonna take a look at input first. You'll see my histogram has shown up. This is a histogram that is correlated with this video clip right here. The only issue is if I start tweaking the contrast or I start tweaking the color of this image, the histogram doesn't move. It's just stuck how it was with the unedited clip. And that's not what I want. I wanna be able to have the histogram moving with my edits so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And in order to do that, we're gonna come back over to histograms and we're gonna turn it to output. Now you can see the histogram has changed and it will continue to change as I tweak my image. And let's say I wanna put a little bit of a color grade on here. Go ahead and bring some cyan into the shadows maybe. Bring some red into the highlights. And you can see the histogram has been moving along with my edit. Now these are the custom curves, but let's say there's another curve that we wanna go into, like maybe hue versus hue. Let's say I wanna change the hue of this grass, I can go ahead and click on that, highlight it in my hue versus hue. And I can drag that down in order to make it just a little bit more green and you can see that my histogram has changed again. And then finally, it'll change if I work with the luma versus saturation. So if I do what I always do, which is desaturate the blacks, bring up the saturation in the midtones, you can see the histogram has changed. And then also in saturation versus saturation, if I wanna go ahead and maybe take out the saturation in my shirt, I can do that by dragging that down. So having that histogram turned on will allow me to really get an accurate view of what part of the image I'm tweaking and what it's doing to the image. By the way, I've got a playlist full of videos that cover the other brand new features in DaVinci Resolve 16. If you wanna check that out, that's linked right up here. And right down here, you'll find a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.